<clears throat> hey there, Twisted Sage here. We have a sun at, oh crap, 11 degrees Taurus. We have a moon at 13 degrees of Leo. A battle between, uh, a couple, two hours ago, we just, all right, maybe three hours ago, we just missed the exact square between the sun and the moon. Which would be a battle between, an internal battle between our identity and what our emotions want. Um, boom, what am I going to talk about? Yeah, we got, uh, so here in Arizona, um, here in Arizona, we talked about reopening the state, I think, to full swing where all businesses is, would uh, reopen. Uh, but from the customer I'm painting their house, they own a jewelry shop and they said uh, they reworked it to the 15th. So I went to look at uh, the astrology for the 15th. And the major thing that jumps out is uh, uh, the transit of Mars. So on the 15th, maybe we're talking late 14th, uh, Mars will move into Pisces. So remember when we think of Mars, we think of our drive and what, what is the energy that moves us forward and that is Mars. Uh, so I found that significant that they would decide to move forward with the changing of signs from Mars and Aquarius to Mars and Pisces. Um, another big thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the switching of the nodes. So right now it's the 30th of May. On late, almost the 5th, here in Arizona at least, uh, around 11 o'clock, just before 11 o'clock p.m., the nodes of the moon will switch from Cancer Capricorn to Gemini Sagittarius, um, which will be quite significant. Uh... I myself am a um, natal north node in Cancer and south node in Capricorn. So this is a battle, this is a tug of war between going for uh, home, searching for security and home, and the balance between work. So the south node is where we're coming from and the north node is where we're headed. So in this last year and a half, we've been headed towards um, searching for home, searching for security. And we're finding that home and security through the means of the south node, which is how we're seen in the world in our career. Um, So that that uh, it should ease since the moon's ruled by cancer this should ease the energy some once this happens um people are going to be pushed towards collecting intel so gemini is kind of the w one way to look at it it's the information slut it just loves all intel all info or it's just download, it's just gathering info on every single thing. Um, so some of, the, some of that's junk info, some of that's relevant info. And then on the opposite, we're going to have the south node in Sagittarius, which is higher learning. It's also linked to religion. So... Uh, 
say, uh, intel of the past, higher learning of the past is going to propel us forward into gathering the info that is relevant now. Um, so we might see a, a, a surge in people looking um, towards astrology because it is the universal language. Because math is so important, intertwined within astrology, um, that's where we get the term that uh, math is a universal language. Because it's the geometrical patterns that the planets make in the sky correlating with our geographical place on Earth. And that's how an astrologer reads the intel coming in to try to predict or let you know deeper about yourself. Um, Leo Moon right now? A Leo Moon wants to feel good. I definitely, I my yoga session this morning, I definitely felt a bit stronger. Um, the moon is going to be opposing Mars. It already opposed Saturn. Um, so there might be a struggle between where, where we're trying to go for our future because it's a, Mars and Aquarius. And relevant to feeling good right now one more thing the, the retrograde so by the 5th Saturn will turn around and go backwards retrograde so anytime you hear of a planet in retrograde that is that means that the planet is uh, it's a review time but it's also a, uh, a time of Oh, when whatever planet is retrograde, it's closer to us here on Earth. So its energy is stronger. Um, and more karmic. I know because uh, I've got one, two, three. Three that I can think of. I might have more than that. Retrograde planets in my natal chart. Yeah, I got four. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that strengths that strengthens the energy of the bot that that planet at the time. And okay, so what's going to happen as soon as uh, we switch nodes late on the fourth? On the 5th, Saturn will go retrograde. And then shortly after that, Jupiter's going to be retrograde. And so those are all review processes. So uh, Saturn's going to start at that 1 degrees Aquarius and start backpedaling back towards Capricorn. And at that time, we will see more restriction take place. Um, I also wanted to point out early on now, on the 29th of June, um, that's when we'll have the next, uh, Saturn, I'm sorry, whoop, Pluto, Jupiter conjunction, which is definitely correlating with this COVID-19 garbage agenda, whatever, um, and we'll probably see greater restriction happen then, or we'll say, or we'll see a perhaps the next spike of the COVID 19 fear and push itself upon people. Um, I just want to say we are in times of great change again. This is we're entering the age of Aquarius, so here for us here on Earth, it's it might be slow. Um, but yeah, don't expect 2020 to just smooth out for everybody. It's going to be kind of a yo-yo, back, forth, back, forth. Um, one thing I've noticed, it, I want to say this maybe 
correlating with the uh, North Node in, in Cancer searching for home is none of this virus has affected housing and developing of housing homes. Uh, people in Arizona are massively still building. I think I heard uh, the local lows here in the White Mountains turned damn near $700,000 in one day yesterday, which I guess broke records across Arizona Lowe's. Um, so people are pumping money into their homes. Security. Comfort. Uh, I guess that might be it. I guess that might be it. Again, know that... Uh, your body is just the vehicle you chose for this life. Many of us are unawake. And so we think the body is what we are. Um, and, yeah, I, wanna, I, I don't know if I wouldn't call it my favorite movie, but the movie 21 Grams. So they say at the moment of death that the body ends up weighing 21 grams less than alive. Um, so don't, don't let your external world be the absolute deciding factor of how you live your life. Remember to uh, to live. In my opinion, is the absence of fear. So to exist in a blissful state. All right. <laughs> um, twisted sage out.